Welcome to Gadget Therapy, my name is Sushant and today we're going to be talking about MagSafe. Not only when it was first introduced, but where it stands today and what are the different products out here because not everything is alike. So stay tuned. So MagSafe was first introduced in 2006 with the MacBook Pro. So what it was is essentially a magnetic uh, mount or magnetic charger that would plug on the side of your MacBook Pro. And in an event of being, it being tugged accidentally, it would detach smoothly without causing any damage to your laptop. So unfortunately, it doesn't exist on MacBook Pros anymore, but it definitely laid out a path for it to be reinvented in the case of iPhone 12 last year. So let me get to why MagSafe was reintroduced and this time in the iPhones. See, wireless charging as it existed before MagSafe was an okay way to charge your phone. The only problem was human error because we sometimes make the mistake of not aligning the charger properly and in that case it doesn't charge at all. And if you get a phone call or a text message while it was charging, it may shake away from the alignment. In that case, it stops charging again and you can wake up in the morning with no charge at all, which is quite frustrating. So what Apple did here was they introduced a exclusive system for wireless charging, which has magnets around the wireless charging coil. So not only is it in the products that you buy, but it is also in the iPhone itself. Also, there was a NFC antenna they added to the system for it to detect different MagSafe products. So essentially knows when you plugged in a MagSafe product or a MagSafe compatible product. All right, so I have a couple of products in front of me. Not everything is alike here. There are two different categories of products. So there is made for MagSafe, which is 15 watt charging or MagSafe compatible, which is only limited up to 7.5 watt charging. And also the animation that you see for charging made for MagSafe and MagSafe compatible is completely different. So the products in front of me here, so I have the three-in-one MagSafe charger, which is made for MagSafe from Belkin. And this is a awesome product. I, as you can see, it's got a really cool finish to it. The magnets are pretty strong, but most importantly, this will do 15 watt charging. This product here, again from Belkin, is a two and a half K power bank, which is MagSafe compatible. So what that means is this will only be able to deliver up to 7.5 watt charging. Um, it does show you a different animation as well. As you can see, there are a lot of products out there which say magnetic wireless charging or MagSafe in the box, but they may not do that. For instance, we bought this AliExpress wind car mount charger for MagSafe, but this only does up to 7.5 watt charging. The magnets are pretty strong and it looks pretty good. Um, but it doesn't do the purpose of made for MagSafe. Similarly, this dual charger, which is for the Apple Watch and the iPhone 12, uh, the magnets aren't very good on this. And again, this doesn't do 15 watt charging. So just keep a look out there. Um, even though some of the products may say they are MagSafe, they may be just compatible so they may not do the full 15 watt charging and if you have an iphone 12 i'm sure you want the best out there you have such an expensive phone you want the best products thank you for watching guys i hope you got something out of it you learned something new uh, keep watching our videos for new content please hit that like and subscribe